Hello everybody, this is James at the Martial Archive. I finally figured out how to make my crappy webcam 16.9, 1080p. Ooh, so you can see even more of the glorious mess behind me. Anyway, uh, I'm going to do three videos about lobby cards. I'm going to start with one on other Hong Kong cards that I've accumulated over recent months. I'm going to do one on Hong Kong films but Thai cards. I'm going to do one on Thai cards for Thai films. So we'll start with Hong Kong cards for Hong Kong films. Now, usually, as I keep saying, I do not buy partial sets if I can avoid it. But sometimes you see good things and you think, oh, I can't live without it, i just got to have it. And this person was selling random jumbled sets. Like sometimes two or three from one film and then odd ones from other stuff. The condition not always so good. Uh, I got some cards in here from Demon of the Loot, but they're a bit trashed. This is the worst. Uh, sadly, a huge amount of staple holes and tape rips I'm guessing. Maybe elastic bands got stuck as they often do. So that one's in the bin pretty much. I don't think anyone will ever want to buy that or trade it. So we're going to look at what's here and some of it is like wow really good and some of it is like yeah it was part of a job lot. So let's start with one of the best things in here. Only three from The Fist of Kicks and the Evil sadly but anything from that film is a must have. <laughs> Bruce Liang is awesome. I wish he made more films than he did. He's one of my favourites. I loved him every time I saw him. Though some of the films weren't so good, like Dragon Lives Again. Nah. But things like Iron Fisted Eagle Claw. Oh, he's so good in that. He's just totally bonkers. I love him. He's great. So, Fist of Kicks and the Evils. Gotta have anything I can get from there. And then we come to Demon of the Loop. Shaw Brothers, usually must-haves. Like I said, the condition on these is a bit poor. But it's quite a mad looking film and the other cards here are all salvageable. You can photoshop in most of the damage quite easily. It'll take a long time to do a bend like that. I get confused looking in reverse. Alright then, sadly only one card, his name is Nobody. I asked the guy, have you got any more cards from these films because I want more and he's... He can't even be bothered to look, he's quite useless. Anyway, a couple of Changi cards from 72 hours in Dragon Town. Sorry, Green Town, 72 hours in Green Town. I love Changi. Again, I want more but that's all I got. Uh, then we come to Killer Angels. He had a set of 10 from Killer Angels, except four of them were Thai cards. And they're the same pictures as on the Hong Kong cards, they just added Thai writing. So, six from Killer Angels. And sadly not a complete set, I'm sure a complete set is at least 10. But, I mean, Moon Lee in leather. Who can help themselves? I'm just a man. Moon Lee facing off with the White Tiger, Mark Houghton, always a good thing. And of course the eponymous Gordon Liu with his cool sunglasses and baseball cap. So excellent stuff, love it. And then we got three cards from a weird looking Taiwanese rom-com I guess called My Lovely Neighbor. Again, these were just part of a job lot. I don't really care about this film, but if it was a complete set, I'd have bought it. Sadly, just three. And only one car, The Fairy and the Devil. I've never heard of it, but it looks kind of interesting and some good pictures. And one card from Knights of Misadventure. And I have three copies of the tie poster with this guy on it. Uh, the film is quite widely available under a different name, it's like 
Brotherhood of Heroes or something. I'm not sure, I'd have to look it up. Uh, unfortunately, he sold a few other cards from this film to someone else. And I'm a bit pissed about that, because The Sister of the Shantung Boxer is a quite nice looking film. And I'd love to have had more stuff from that. Then we've got the 11 years old mother. Very hard to read the name even in person. It's in silver writing on a black, uh, black and brown background, but it's not really easy to see. Actually, he looked at it for some time trying to find the name and gave up the first time. <laughs> I didn't see it at all because it wasn't light enough. Uh, I forgot what it's called, some random Kenny, Kenny B film. I did ID it before, but I can't remember. Uh, King of Gambler, just one card. Uh, there are reasons why I did buy these. Uh, Wonderful Hong Kong had a couple of Hong Kong cards and then some Thai cards with the same picture and Thai writing on. Gold Constables, really good film but unfortunately covered in white crap. But the white crap seems to be on the outside and if I was to take the plastic off and rip it out the card's probably alright. But I'm just leaving it in the plastic for protective purposes. I have no reason to take it out, really. I've got three cards from that. It's a very good film. There's an old American double bill video. Had this and something else. I can't remember what right now. Uh, this film probably needs no introduction to most of you watching. Legend of a Fighter. Sadly, only six cards. I've got a tie set of nine, I think. No, eight. I've got a set of eight tie cards. But only six from Hong Kong, sadly. And pretty damaged, sadly. Uh, he had six from Legend of a Fighter and six from Ring of Death, for some reason. Why sixes, I don't know. I'm sure the full sets are more. So a bit of Huang Zheng Li, Ring of Death, always good. And Cliff Lock, who if you've been watching my videos you already know I like. And Dean Sheck, who if you've been watching my videos you know I don't like so much. <laughs> Cliff and Huang, good. And also Korean kicker, Huang Young Moon. Who could miss those cheekbones? Very recognisable. So Huang and Quan. Anything with Huang and Quan must have really good. Oh, and one more. Huang doing splits. Oh. And the film also featured with the beard, you can't really see very well next to Huang Zheng Li, Roy Horan, who sadly died a few months ago. I didn't really know much about him, but he seemed like a good guy. I know that Roy was involved with World Video that released hundreds and hundreds of films on video in the USA some years ago. Uh, seasonal Films owned World Video, I believe, and Roy was very much involved in it, so he did a lot of good work to try and spread Hong Kong films to North America. Sadly, only North America. They didn't come to any other countries, as far as I'm aware. I wish they'd come out in England, I'd have bought a lot of stuff from them. Such is life. Uh, then we have three cards from the Dragon and Tiger Kids, aka Hell's Windstaff. Uh, sadly, no awesome shots of Huang. There's one shot of him here, but it's not great. It's kind of dark and it's not a good angle. That's the way it goes sometimes. I'd love to have a full set of them. Uh, then we got some from... Lam A Chun Blunders Again. Which I thought was Golden Harvest, but there's no Golden Harvest logo on here, so I'm not entirely sure right now. Uh, some kind of comedy. Unfortunately, these cards have been rather... Mm, not taken care of at all. Some kids have been drawing on them. Front and back. Sadly. Again, I'd rather have a full set, but you take what you can get. 
Uh, this film, infamously bad supposedly. I've had it on video for more than 20 years and I've never watched it. Deadly Snail vs Kung Fu Killers. Or Deadly Snail in Kung Fu Killers as they call it here. With Simon Yun Siu Chen. You know from Drunken Master, Snake and Eagle Shadow, played Sam Seed or Beggar, whatever you want to call him. It looks like some kind of magic and mysticism stuff. Uh, sometimes I keep two cards which are the same. The reason being this has got plastic on it it's been all messed up. So if I did ever want to scan that it would look bad and this card is a bit messed up too but that one's better although big crease for it. So I keep both in the hope that if I ever need to try and put it together it can be done somehow. I don't know. One more. It's been rubber banded sadly. Now, the guy I bought these from is very annoying to deal with and he had a full set from this film which I, it's like one of the ones that got away in my life. I really, really like this film. I'm a big fan of Frankie Chan. And Reed Lips is completely bonkers with action choreography by Jackie Chan. And it is a really messed up film. I'm not saying that it's a good film overall. The plot is completely ridiculous. The situations are totally out of this world but the action is good and some of the comedy is good and I really rather like it. I've had a mainland China DVD that came out 20 years ago and it's, a lot of those discs from mainland China got echoey sound. It's really weird. Unfortunately this car is rubber banded so when that happens better to keep it back to back. If you put it on top face to back, well sometimes the rubber goes sticky and then they stick together and you've got to rip them apart and it rips the card underneath. So if you've got rubber band damage, whether it's on the front or the back, better to put it against the back of another card. Try and protect what you can. Alright, now we've got Mission Over the Eagle Castle. Which is not a well known film, it's Taiwanese. There's a central motion picture logo. It's come up a few times before. And these are not in a good state, sadly, but it's kind of a rare film. And they're quite cheap, and that's a heck of a money shot right there. I forgot that man's name now, but he's really good. I like him. There's some good stuff on these cards. Pretty bad damage in parts, sadly, but you can salvage some good shots off of there. Looks quite an interesting film. I'd like to see it someday. Uh, did I not mention that already? No. All right. Oh, I got another spare car. All right, put it to one side. And this is another Taiwanese film, I think, called Once Again with Love some kind of romance film and again not a full set sadly anyone who's a big fan of the killer will probably recognize this man Chang Kong or is it Chu Kong I think here Kenneth Chang Kong there's Chang Kong and Chu Kong he's Chu Kong I get confused sometimes they're both in the killer Chang Kong and Chu Kong I think, I think his English name is Paul Chu Uh, romance stuff. Uh, this film, Crazy Couple, I was sold a set of ten and what I didn't realize at the time was that seven of them were the Hong Kong cards and three of them were Thai cards. But thankfully the three Thai cards all had different pictures to what were on the Hong Kong cards. 
so I kind of got a set of 10 but not and I have had a chance since to buy the complete Thai set but I thought well I've already got the pictures on the Hong Kong cards and the Hong Kong ones don't have the Thai writing over the top so I just stick with what I've got if I ever find the full Hong Kong set I'll buy them again I've not watched this film yet I really should it looks kind of good right up my alley uh, Lao Kar Wing I think or is it Lao Kar Young no, it's Lao Kar Young, sadly. He had Lao Kar Lung, famous at Shaw Brothers. His brother, Lao Kar Wing, who wasn't as famous but worked with him a lot at Shaw Brothers. And then Lao Kar Young. He was in some independent films. I don't know that he ever did much at Shaw Brothers, if anything. And this is Lao Kar Young, the youngest brother. There's also Gordon Liu, Lao Kar Fai, who was the adopted brother. We all know and love. And unfortunately, Dean Check again, so some irritating comedy from him. And then lastly, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine cards from the Master Strikes. Uh, I believe the full set is 12, so I'm missing three. If anyone's got missing cards from Master Strikes, I'm certainly interested. Please let me know. I'm a big fan of Casanova Wong, or Wong Ho, whatever you want to call him. And there's some good shots here of Casanova in action. Pretty good stuff. So, uh, that's other Hong Kong cards that I've accumulated over the last six, seven, eight months. I don't know, I haven't really been counting. They've all just been thrown in a big pile to look at later. Um, over the next few days I'll work on the other two videos, the Thai cards for Thai films and the Thai cards for Hong Kong films and they'll be labeled as such so that if you're interested in learning about the Thai films you can learn a bit from that. If you're not interested in the Thai stuff, just the Hong Kong stuff, you can just look at that. So that's all for today. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Talk to you all again some other time. Have a nice day. Bye for now.